Oh my god, it auto zoom! Stop it. I know exactly what it is that you're gonna do. You're gonna start typing, your hands are above the keyboard, in the comment, just waiting to write something in response to the title of this video. But, let me finish. The title of the video is Why I Am Going to Kill Myself Today. I'm gonna kill myself today with kindness. Over the past six months, I have been on myself mentally, physically, emotionally. I have not been treating myself well. I hope that you come along for a wonderful day filled with things that help promote self-love, things that help promote better mentality, things that just kind of help you in general. I have a whole itinerary of things to do, and I'm excited to share them with you. Please, let me know what you think of this video, but enough chit chat, let's go ahead, dive right in. <laughs> Alright, so sorry about freaking you out, I am fine, my mental health is fine, I have no inclination of actually killing myself, but I am going to kill myself with kindness, and this today is going to be a list of things that are going to pamper myself physically, mentally, emotionally, because for the past years, I have beat myself up saying, you're not good enough, you're never gonna be good enough, why would you do that, you're so dumb, like just constantly ragging on myself, and it's horrible to feel. All right, so first order of business, the love yourself challenge, whatever it is, <laughs> is I wanna go get a pedicure. I've been wanting to get a pedicure for a while, and I have no idea why. I was just thinking about it as I was about to make this little clip. I was like, why do I wanna do, I don't know, just something fun to do, who cares? I have about nine minutes to get there. It's like two minutes away, so it's fine, but I don't know what to wear. I don't know if I can wear this stuff, that way I can just like roll it up into shorts. I don't really know. I also don't know if they're gonna let cameras in there, so I might film a little bit with my phone and pretend like I'm looking at memes or something like that. So today is gonna be all about self-love and self-care. I think that that is truly important. People make fun of it for some unknown reason. <laughs> I feel like 99.9% .9 of the people on the earth are hurting. Why would you laugh at somebody for going to do something? Like, I'll probably get some comments about going to get a pedicure. Why is that like such a taboo thing that a guy can't go out and get stuff done? Guys get made fun of for crying. Guys get made fun of for being emotionally vulnerable. Guys get made for like, it's just so tragic. I have three minutes to get there. Oh God. But it's like so heartbreaking. Like everybody just needs to love. <laughs> Ah! Oh my god, it auto-zoomed! That was awesome! Ah! Oh my gosh, I just almost made you fall out of my car. <laughs> that was awesome. It auto-zoomed. I felt like the dramatic chipmunk. I was like, dun, dun, dun! <laughs> but that is my purpose for today. If you can't do something like this for yourself, live vicariously through me and do it with me because I have a some things planned for today and I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys will come along for the ride. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, love yourself. You need to love yourself first before I think that you can give love to anybody else. But going back to loving yourself, like people make mistakes. I have had relationships with people who think that if they aren't good at something immediately, they do not want to do it. And I cannot tell you how many times I have messed something up. I've had so many mistakes in my life. The mistakes that I have probably outnumber my successes by 50 to one. I am s nervous. I think that I'm the only person here at this nail salon. Oh, good golly gee. All right, so she got really excited when I said that I'm gonna start recording. She, she, she started, I said, can I record in here? And she was like, why? And I was like, I have a YouTube channel. And she started jumping up and down. <laughs> so she's getting this ready. They have this. I don't know what to do. You tell me what to do. Take this off? Yeah, take off and uh, pull your pants off. Okay. Take these off. Pull my pants up. Got it. 
<laughs> is it hot? Warm? Oh, water okay? Feel good? That feels really good. Okay. My feet are freezing. Good, yeah. This water feels amazing. They give me a little thing. Where I can go up or down, back or right. Oh, dude, I have a massage. I have a massage. Oh, look at that. Whoa. You have pedicure before? No, this Whoa. is my first time. First time. <laughs> So far I'm feeling super relaxed. They have a massage chair going. She put like the stuff on my feet. I can't feel my feet. <laughs> oh, what? She's bringing out oranges. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Ooh. I thought that was a cheese grater. Holy moly. It doesn't feel like I thought it was gonna feel. I thought it was gonna feel like an actual cheese grater, but I don't think it is. <laughs> oh, gross. Ew. She put sugar on my legs and it feels amazing. It feels so good. So cold. cold. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so now she's doing a hot rock massage. That is so cool. <laughs> it's not as hot as I thought it would be, which is awesome because I don't like hot rocks, but it feels really good. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was really good. I feel like I just ruined it by putting on socks. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye bye. Thank you, bye. thank you. You guys, that was nice. Now, I was freaking out. Like, I was so scared <laughs> when she like pulled out the cheese grater, when she started like cutting around my nails, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I had the massager going. It was really, really nice. I feel like I just blasphemed getting a pedicure and I put socks and shoes back on. I feel like I should have just put my shoes on or maybe had like flip flops or something. I cannot wait to get home and take off these ever encumbering socks and shoes. Ollie's sitting here trying to smell me. <laughs> get out of here. What are you doing? You beast. He said, what are you doing? <laughs> I came in and he just started chasing me, bro. Chill, what are you doing? What? What? He's like, he's like amped up. Here, are you ready? Feast your eyes on that. I bet you weren't expecting this. No. <gasps> Big on from me, you foul shoes and socks. If I have, di dude, my feet feel so soft right now. Oh my God, they look like, I could be a foot model. Oh. Holly, I could be a foot, I smell oranges. I smell oranges, my feet are cool. This is awesome. <laughs> Check one, good job, Zach for going to get a pedicure. Oh, you know, don't mind me, just foot modeling. Ow, God, I hit my toe, ow, oh, oh, hold on. Don't mind me, just foot modeling. New year, new me, who dis? <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. I have been running around ragged, and if you wanna see what that is, the next video that's gonna come out will probably be the behind the scenes of this, and you should probably go check it out because it's intense and a whole lot of things happen, but today is all about me being stress-free. So I'm gonna compartmentalize that, shove that out of my mind. I am good now. It is time for me to, I know what you're thinking, cut my hair. Why? Because I feel better after I cut my hair and I'm all trimmed up and I think I look decent. Did you hear that? I just caught myself. I think I look decent. Be confident, Zach. I know I look decent. I look better than this, at least. I have graduated to cutting shears. Look how cool these look. These are so sharp. They are insane. But I also graduated to a straight edge for cutting and doing line work. But I'm just gonna do a very quick one just because we have other stuff to do today and I'm pretty excited about it. That's, that's something. Maybe if I wore my, <gasps> I look like Marilyn Manson or like an emo kid. Mom, you don't understand. This is who I am. 
Um, okay, so let's make this happen and cue the music, Editor Zach. Not that music, bro. What do you do? Cool music. Like, let's make a cool montage. You ready? Let's do it. That's fake. This is just gonna be a quick one, two, three. How much if I just cut that off? <laughs> Look at this cool trick. You go like this, and then you can brush the hair down. Ugh, it's in my eye. That's how people, how can girls do that? Like, you guys just have it like right in your eye. How the heck? Like I've seen girls blink with like bangs and it's like I'm like, how, what is wrong? <laughs> Are you okay? So now this right here, that is called an undercut. If you don't want that, you need to man up <laughs> and have someone either do this for you or do it yourself. It is so stressful doing it yourself. But what you need to do is you need to take a very, very thick comb, as far as lengthwise, and you go in here and you go straight up and then you pull it out and then you shave that off. Very difficult to do by yourself. Very, very hard, but I don't really like the undercut look, so I have to do it. <laughs> Or my haircut is messed up. What do you guys think? Look good? And it didn't even take me that long. I was actually really confident and it's really hard to do backwards going this way. <sighs> Let's trim up the beard. Nice, that was only like five minutes. <laughs> it was like the fastest haircut I've ever given myself. So this one thing that I noticed as I was shaking off all of my hair, it looks like I got bit on the toenail by a spider. You see those two holes? What is that? Makes me think like I got bit by like a spider like right there on like the nail bed. And then my toenail grew out with the two holes. Like, I don't know. That's so weird. Also, that doesn't even look like a toenail if you remove everything else from it. Like, what is that? My precious. Oh, yes, really my precious. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm weird. Ollie, you okay? You good? Okay, great. Sorry. I got out of the shower and I was thinking, when I first did, when I first started my haircut, I was like, I know that it looks good straight on. Why does it look dumb right here? I was thinking, um, you know how I was like, still kind of on to myself by saying, you know, I, it'll look better than it does now. I think that we need to give ourselves that boost, that confidence and say, you know what? I look good. Who cares what anybody else thinks? Who cares? Like, don't be prideful and say that I'm the most beautiful person ever. But I think that having... That, or I mean, you can have that. That's just my personal preference. You can think that you're the most beautiful person in the world. But like with me, like I'm very down on my looks and I used to work out all the time and I stopped. And when you stop and you have put yourself in the limelight of working out, people say, what happened? You look gross. You got fat. Whatever it is, like I'm old. I'm 30 years old. Like they, you can't stay working out forever. Like look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> like I think that we need to give ourselves that space to say, I look good. And even if you just put on eyeliner or even if you just brushed your hair or even if you did nothing, you still have the ability to say, I look good. Don't be hard on yourself because at the end of the day, the only one whose opinion really matters is your own. Like you are inside your head. Like if you go through the day thinking that you look bad, you're not gonna get that confidence. Like you know how when you dress up like really, really nice and you walk through like a store and you know that people are looking at you and you have that confidence? That's what you should have regardless of what it is that you're wearing. Like I will hold myself accountable more if you hold yourself more accountable. I did my haircut, I cut my beard, I look good. End of story. We're getting ready to go, I'm excited. I'm not gonna tell you guys where we're going, but it's gonna be really fun. So I'm literally getting ready to go, and I'm just like running around the house, just like finding stuff and packing it and putting it in stuff and like, <laughs> there's just so, much stuff that I needed to do and I should have started at like nine o'clock this morning, but I didn't. All right, you ready? Let's go, boy. Look at this. I'm trying to stay calm. I spilled cereal all over the ground. So I'm just gonna let that go. I'm just gonna let that stay there. 
I'm just not gonna worry about that. Just, it's just a thing. All right, are you guys ready to go on an adventure? Okay, so I have that, I have clothes, I have long sleeve shirt, coat, pants, sleeper pants, a waker pants. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's just so much to be done, girl. I hate doing this stuff while I'm like recording because I'm constantly thinking about recording and I'm not thinking about what I need to be thinking about and that's how I get in trouble. So let's see how long it'll take to get there. It's an hour and 48 minutes. Let's get it on. Ain't gonna be nothing but a thing right now. Please don't let me forget anything. That would be tragic. Ooh girl, so tragic. I have my phone and phone charger. That's pretty much all I need. Wallet, phone, keys, wallet. What do you guys say when you guys are like getting ready to go? I'm gonna get some B-roll of us driving because I shouldn't be vlogging and driving. So I will see you guys in about two hours, two, three hours, two and a half hours. So, so many hours. And that's all I got to say about that. Also, this is here. It's not a ghost. It's uh, so he doesn't get dog hair everywhere. Look, every time I stop and I roll down the window, he's like, oh, I need to see. I need to see outside. So yeah, I'll see you guys there.